The peaceful protests are carried in the streets across the country and also on social media. And one young man's dream has gone viral. You might know him as Arturo, the man who got his bag stolen. News 8's Abby Alford shares the story behind Arturo Gonzalez and how he's using his new fame to spread awareness about equality. Arturo Gonzalez has quite the fan base. I get thousands of DMs every day of people like, are you going to go out there? Are you going to go out there? The 20 year old's Facebook live videos during the Black Lives Matter protests have become an internet sensation. Is that the one that lost his bag? Yeah. Yes, dude, someone stole my bag. Arturo was live on Sunday when he says someone stole his coach bag. Memes and hashtag find Arturo's bag went viral, which led to 30,000 views Sunday night during the looting. He was even detained for unlawful assembly, but he says in his videos that he encourages peace. Where is the love, the love? A lot of people like want to know more information, like where's Arturo's bag, this and that, but that's not what it's about. It's like, what's the reason I was out there in the first place, you know, fighting for black lives. Arturo says it's not about being famous and having this huge following. He wants to be able to use that platform to raise awareness about the vandalism here at this mural and so many other things he calls unjust. I want to use it for good, not only for, for, for this movement, but later on, I'm, I want to give back to the community. There's a rawness to Arturo's live stream. He's entertaining. One boy on it, out here on one wheel. Behind the voice, though, is a young Hispanic LGBTQ man who grew up homeless. You can hear that he's sincere and righteous. Every day I see more and more videos that are released of these people killed, of these cops abusing their power. And, and it just makes me so angry. Arturo says that he understands the health concern of protesting every day. Just like we're fighting Corona, we're fighting for black lives. And he says he'll keep fighting for justice no matter how exhausted and calloused or sore his feet are from marching every day for black lives. My body may be weak, but my mind is strong and I'm not going to stop until we receive justice. In Logan Heights, I'm Abby Alford for News 8.